Hi, so I just wanted to talk about um, sort of like a hack I think I found and like what on the um, about the test on socianics.com. Oh. And I think and why I, I think I'm an ESTP now. So I finally think I'm an ESTP versus an ISTP because I'm going to tell you the process I used to kind of come to that conclusion because ISTP never really totally fit with me and it's just confusing with all the different like types of personalities and everything like that so so what I first did is if you go on like socianics.com um, or I think that's the website that you take the test on you can go through and look at um, all the different functions like there's eight and somebody like commented to look at the shadow function so I kind of started to do that and um, so I looked at the shadow ones and like I didn't read I didn't look up which ones corresponded to which personality I just um, I kind of like wrote down oh that one like the vulnerable one seems to describe me or whatever like and it didn't really matter which one it was and I made a list of that, and then I went back and I did ISTP, um, INFJ, and ESTP, and I um, made a chart and then wrote down, like, all the corresponding, um, all the, you know, all the functions, and then which one corresponds to which one. Like, ESTP, I think, is, like, demonstrating is TE. Um, so, like, that kind of thing, but a chart. And then um, I looked up and to see what which ones fit which ones, and basically I I wrote down um, I'm looking at it over here. I wrote down that I was I, I was basically put down the middle for ISTP and ESTP like for all of them. Like I wrote down for like FI I wrote down um, role and vulnerable and suggestive and. Um, the vulnerable one is ESTP and then ISTP is role and I, I don't know what the suggestive one is. I think that's like, that's not a beta so I kind of eliminated that. And then I did the same thing for NE, SI, and TE. So I did all like the, the ones that, not the main four functions that people usually look at. And for the rest of those, I wrote, I wrote down the same stuff that would be for ISTP and ESTP. So then I got rid of INFJ once and for all. So I... I don't think I'm an INFJ. I kind of cringe at saying that though, because I'm like, I don't know. I'm not totally positive on any of this. So. Anyway, then I went back. So I was like, okay, ESTP or ISTP. So I, um, you can go into like the dichotomy, the dichotomies. It's in the little website. And so I basically just looked that up and I read what it has, you know, like, they do one, two, three, four. It has like what they do, and so I just went through and I did, you know, um, like um, like I looked through like extrovert versus in, introvert and see which one like describes me more. And like I didn't know for that one, and that's kind of like confusing. And then, but for like, but I'm definitely a, a negativist, and I wrote that down like ESTP. Like I wrote the ones down that corresponded to ESTP or ISTP, and, um, so I did all that, and then, like, some of them I was confused about, like, process, result, and then ethical versus logical, I was kind of confused on those, so I just didn't write anything for that, and for most of them, I got ESTP, I think for one, I wrote down ISTP, and, um, so, um, and then <clears throat> I was looking, I wrote down the ones that I was really for sure on, and then Mary, I don't know what the other the dichotomy is but it's like Mary or serious I think I'm definitely the Mary one I ended up for sure because like reading it I just was like yeah that one I can definitely say for sure so I was able to grasp onto something and that's kind of been my problem with this whole entire process but um so I was able to like see that I was definitely a Mary and um so I wrote that down and then and that, that's corresponds to the ESTP, and then um, the decisive versus, I think it's 
the diff- I don't know what the one was, but I just have the spices up here. I just wrote down the ones that, like, I corresponded with. Um, I said it was very me. So, that's kind of how I was able to to finally, like, figure it out. Like, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not totally confident, though. I'm never going to be totally confident, but, because, again, this is, the whole thing is very, very subjective, which frustrates me. <clears throat> I really think that the dichotomy thing really helps you out. And that's how the test is formed. I realize now how, how they set up the test, because I was always kind of wondering. Um, so basically, they just ask questions to figure out whether you're, which dichotomy you are. Basically. Because in looking back at the questions, a lot of them have way more to do with like the dichotomies rather than the actual function and I think that's how they set it up and it's kind of how you can kind of hack it if you don't if you did get got a result that was kind of like confusing or whatever you can kind of hack it if you're down to like three personalities or whatever and kind of figure it out and finally like get you know a um a definitive kind of personality that you can kind of be like oh this actually I can grasp onto like one or two of the dichotomies and really know that you are because I'm I really am a decisive for, for sure for the decisive versus I don't know what the other thing was called but here we maybe I'll look that up really quick um so here we I'm on the page right now um I'm looking up Okay, it's judicious versus decisive. And this is the one I really felt really confident about. Because my natural state isn't relaxed. It says, like, it says, like, kind of, like, goes down all of them. Isn't relaxed and, um... I really need to, like, for the decisive, it says, like, um, goes easily from relaxed to mobilized, but not mobilized to relaxed. Thus, they need external stimuli like a movie to relax, and that's really, really true. I, um, and I know, oh, everyone relaxes in movies, yeah, I know, but, like, I, I just really related to the decisive, so. And the Mary versus, hold on, Mary versus serious, I'm not the serious, I, we more thought it was Mary, so that's why I think, I'm an ESTP right now, so, and I think I'm an ESTPTI, but, again, not really super, super positive, but I think looking at the dichotomies really clears things up, so, thanks.